Successful people embrace risk and they learn from their failure. What they do, they take calculated risk that gives them serious return on their investment. Successful property investors understand that risk is inherent to high reward. So the higher the risk, the more reward an investor should, eat, should expect in any investment opportunities. And they also they approach failure not as an obstacle, but a learning opportunity that helps them refine their strategy with each setback. Because what would have happened if you've made a mistake in a property, suppose you were meant to perhaps um, uh, sort out something in the, in the property for whatever reason that went wrong, or maybe you forgot to do it, or for whatever reason it did not happen. That is a setback, but what you do, you can take that as a learning opportunity, grow from that knowing that your next property deal or your next property refurb, you will not make that mistake. Instead of just giving away feeling sorry for yourself or look somewhere or someone to blame about the property. So it's about literally owning your responsibility, taking it in, take it as a learning curve to move on to the next one. The property industry market in 2024 is expected to navigate through a um, series of significant changes and transformation, especially now the world is transforming in a way we were never imagined. One of the things I think may happen in 2024 we are going to be going through economic recovery and interest rates. So economies are, it will start to pick up. Interest rate would go up slightly, but we don't expect it to go up drastically. It might stay the same because obviously inflation, the governments are trying to reduce inflation. So when inflations are going down, interest would either remain the same or also follow suits that way as well. So I think um, uh, mortgage interest payment are expected to remain steady. Um, it might elevate a little bit initially, maybe it might go up slightly, but it is possible for it to stay the same or decrease later end of the year. And this will be based on the economic landscape um, uh, shaping the real estate industry. Now we've got lots of elections coming up. So the last thing politicians wants to do right now is to influence things that would increase interest rate or would increase cost of living. So I don't see that going up drastically because they would want people to be to vote for them in order for them to stay in power. So there are lots of elections this um, uh, 2024 and I think there are about 60% of the world are going to the ballot box this year. So hence, um, we don't expect any ridiculous changes right now because politicians will do whatever they can do to keep themselves in power. The formula of a property investor um, is very, very crucial to their success. You know, the way you succeed in, in properties or any work of life is knowing what sort of, what, what, what sort of risk you need to be taking, embracing risk with knowledge, right? To earn a greater return on investment, you need to understand what sort of risk involved with that return. Top earners understand that property investment involves risk. You can buy a property today, you want to renovate it, you realize there's something else that you need to do in the property that you're not aware of. So these are the sort of risks you, you, you take, but it's a calculated risk. They mitigate this sort of risk by thoroughly doing research, knowing the market, looking at the trends and the property or the opportunities that property could lend itself to. Suppose they're buying a C3 property, which is a family property. There may be a potential to change that property to C4, to a HMO property or to flat or to whatever that may be. Let's look, they look at that sort of way of thinking in order to make a well-informed de decision rather than relying on speculation like the government is doing a train station there. The government have their green plan going in that city now. They look at the analysis they analyze it, they look at the trend and the market, they make their decision on that basis. In order for you to be successful, you go through hoops and bumps, you go through difficulties, you go through pains, you go through letdown, you go through mistakes. But what really gets you to succeed is going through these hopes and bombs and, and thrive and go from it and knowing that any mistakes is a steep learning curve to take you a little bit closer to where you want to be. Because if you continue doing that, it motivates, it encourages and it gives you the resilience 
to stay successful, do the resilience to actually thrive. You see, doing that part is like going to the gym. You see, when you go to the gym, what you do, you do some certain reps, okay? You do reps until you feel tired, okay? Once your reps feel tired, you stop, you haven't grown. So once you once, once you got tired, you go, you do a couple of sets or so. That is what grows your muscle makes your muscles stronger resilient for you to be able to go 12 13 or 14 or maybe 15 reps in a few weeks time so that's what mindset gives you all the time stay focused surround yourself with successful people surround yourself with people that are doing what you're doing talk to yourself positive things never talk negativity to yourself don't surround yourself with people that are sucking your energy and not believing in you surround yourself with people that will nurture you will encourage you to take a little bit closer to your financial success